Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to send out bulk emails using Google Apps Script. So in my constant attempt to help clients automate internal processes using Google Workspace tools, I came across a new problem my university was facing. So my university wanted to make announcements in their college regarding events, marks or even students or even maybe reminding them about how important attendance is and stuff like that. So that's where uh, there was a lot of manual work that was involved. So uh, they had all the emails stored in the Google Sheet and they wanted to automate the entire process of sending the emails. So I developed a Google App Script code using the Gmail app and the spreadsheet app to get access of the emails and different different details and where on the click of a button all the emails are sent to the user without any manual effort. So in this video we'll be taking a look at how to automate bulk emailing process using Google App Script. So we're going to start off by looking at the sample Google Sheet that we have here. It's just a very basic, simple Google Sheet. We have email addresses of the students, the name of the students. And uh, yeah, this is basically the sheet. And I'll just go up to my Google Apps Script Editor. I'll just refresh this. And uh, to use, to access the Google Apps Script Editor, all you have to do is click on Extensions, go to App Script, and it will automatically launch up. So that's basically the first few steps that you need to uh, access the Google Apps Script Editor. So next up, what we're going to be doing is we'll be creating a new function called uh, send email. And inside the send email function, we'll be just starting out by getting the Google Apps Script. I mean, the Google uh, Sheet that is there. So we'll start by doing a const ss and uh, I'll be using the spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet here. And uh, after which, I'll go and get his spe I get the specific Google Sheet that's going to be const sheet. I'm going to do ss dot get sheet by name, and inside this, I'll be pasting the name of the Google Sheet that is there. That's going to be sheet one. I'm going to copy this, I'm going to go here and paste it out here. And um, after this, now that we have our sheet, we're going to be going ahead and getting the data. So, for the data, I'm going to be doing sheet dot get range, and inside the range, I'm going to be starting out by the second row. I'll be starting with the first column. Then I'll be doing a sheet dot get last row. Oops, it's a last row. And uh, after this, I'm just going to do minus one, comma two. And after which I'll just do a get values function. It will get me the values of it. Click on save. So what I've done here is basically I have got the range here. I want to start by the second row. Since the first row is going to be the headers and I don't want to interact with the headers right now. So I'm just going to be doing second row. Then I'll be starting with the first column since I want to first get the names of the respective students and followed by their email addresses. Same thing I've done sheet dot get last row. So this means that uh, there might be thousands of students that you have. So I don't want to limit the number of rows to say 20 or 30. So it's a get last row function. So even if you keep on adding them, the number of email addresses won't be limited to a specific number. If you add 100, 100 emails will be sent out. And then after that, I've just done minus one, which means to shift to the column. And then a two, that is the number of columns that are required. So that's going to be number of columns is these two. I just want one and two. After which I've done, just done the get values function. So let's just check if we have got our correct data. I'm just going to do a short logger dot log. I'm going to click on save. I'll just go ahead and click on run. So before, since you might, I, I'm running this code for the first time, you'll have to access, accept some permissions that are there. So I'll just click on review permissions and I click on that email address that I have here. Just go to advanced, go to the project. It will tell you that it wants to edit, create, delete Google spreadsheets. Just go ahead and click on allow. And in a few seconds, the project will run. Okay, so we made a mistake here. We did, we did not have to add a comma here. I'll just click on save. Minus one is just saying if it's in the get last row, I don't want these these uh, this row. So I'm going to start from here. So if I just I mistakenly added the comma. If I run the code now, you can see all the emails with the respective name of the students have been printed successfully. Now to iterate through all of these names and email addresses, I'm going to be using a for each function. So I'm just going to do data dot for each. And inside this for each, I'll be creating a new function. I'll do row comma I and I'll just open the brackets here. Right. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'll be getting the name. So I'm going to do var name. And here I'm going to be doing row and that's going to be zero. Since that is the first column in the Google spreadsheet, I want it to be zero. 
and after which i'll do var i'll do say email and i'll do row i'll do one so let's just print these two out and see if we have got the correct details i'm going to logger dot log name and i'm going to do a logger dot log for the email address so i'm going to add two semicolons here i'm just going to go ahead this and comment this out i'm going to go and click on save and I'm going to be clicking on run. So you can see all the email addresses with the name. So first up the name comes in with the respective email address, then the second name, then their email address. So we have successfully got our data. So let's now go to the main part of the uh, video is that's going to be sending out the emails. So I'm going to be doing a var subject. Or I'm going to do just email underscore subject. I'm just going to say, so this example is going to be for attendance. So I'm just going to be doing student, oops, student attendance email. Uh, after this, I'm going to be declaring the body. I already have the email body designed. So I'm just going to pick it up from here and I'm going to paste it out here. I already have it here. So I'm just going to click on save. Oops. So to remove this. And go ahead and click on save so this is where i've declared my email body so it is just to uh, remind the students that how important attending lectures is and this might affect your career and how it will affect your different different details and stuff so i'm i'm, I'm not going to get into the detail i'm not going to be getting into the details i'll be just moving forward with this and once we have our email body designed it's time to send out the emails so to do that we're going to be using the gmail app so i'm going to be doing gmail app Oops, i'm just going to come out of here i'm going to be doing gmail app dot send email inside which i'm going to be adding the email followed by the subject and after this i'm going to be just clear this out and i'm going to be adding the html body in the html body i'm going to be specifying the body that we just created go ahead and click on save our code is ready and good to go so uh, let's just go ahead and click on run it's going to be asking me for permissions once again, since we are uh, running the email part for the first time. So I'm just going to click, give it access and just go to advanced, go to the untitled project. Oh, just, just give a, give a name to it here. It will tell you to read, compose and send emails and, and maybe permanently delete all of them. Just go ahead and click on allow. It's just going to print that. I should have uh, commented that out. So in a few seconds, the code will run and it will send out all the emails. So here you can see when I open up my email, I can see dear Arne Rani, this is sent by the email that is the student attendance email. You can see the way we designed our body. We wanted it to be the same. It's like that. And we have our regards XYZ University. So this is how we can send out automatic emails using Google App Script and the Gmail app. I'll be leaving the code link and the Google Sheet link in the description. You can check that out. There is even a blog version of this video. Uh, you can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and put more content in the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.